Alrighty, Yvonne Gebauer here and I'm about to do step three in my journaling by fives. Um, I'm doing it with a buddy, Karen Birchall. So I did round one, she did round two, which was the, the um, texture and collage. So I'm doing step three, which is pattern, which is stamps and stencils. So I've got a ton of stuff laying all over the place. Karen messaged me this afternoon and said that she had done hers and it took her an hour to clean up and I'm thinking well did you bring everything out and I'm looking at my area right now thinking yeah I can see why it took her an hour to clean up because I'm thinking it's probably going to take me as long. My hands are already full of ink as I'm testing ink pads to see which ones um, which ones work for me so alrighty let's see let's see let's see okay 15 minutes. Let's do it up. Alrighty. Okay, so I am going to start out with some texture paste here. And I want to do some butterfly the same as I had on the other side. So I'm trying some of my distress inks. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or a bad idea. I guess it will probably depend on, oh that didn't show up at all, so I guess it's going to be a bad idea. Um, it's going to depend on what um, is going to, um, what's going to show up, right? And I guess my concern with the distress inks is that it, um, will reactivate of course when we go to do the next when we go to do the next uh, round again right so that's what I'm thinking is going to happen but you just never know I think I want a little bit of that bubble on there oh yeah I like that a little bit of it up here. There's a little bit up in here though. Perfect. Alrighty. Oh, I guess I probably should have been putting something between here. Oh yeah, definitely should have been. Gosh dang it. Okay, well that one didn't work at all because now it's just all over on this side. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. It'll be texture. It won't be an actual stencil of any kind whatsoever. Um... I've got uh, butterfly stamp here I want to put on this one. This is one of the, oh I don't think it got all the way on there. This is one of my uh, new uh, Finnebear um, stamps that I grabbed. And I want to do just a little three thing of Butterflies down there. Okay, we had bubbles there. I'm going to use my smaller bubble on this one, I think. And I really don't know why I'm trying to get them to match, but that's just, I guess, my left brain taking over, which it tends to do from time to time. I don't know why it does that, but it just does. that one. Of course my brick stencil. That has got to be my favorite stencil. Anybody that's ever seen any of my pages or anything knows that this is my go-to stencil for so many things that it's just crazy. I use it a lot. A lot, a lot. Another new Finner Bear stamp. Oh, I like that one. I love that woman, I tell you. She has got to be one of the most creative people I know. I wish, actually, I don't know her. Wish I knew her. But I don't. But I don't. But I don't. That is okay. Oh, 
Move it like that. And I think I will do some ink splatters on that page just because I can. Now, I never thought of this great big stampin' block when I put it on there, which is not going to work at all. This one I want, I want. Um, I love random uh, words like this on a page. Another one of my go to stencils. On top of my computer screen is going to be just crazy. You should see it right now. It is just a mess. I have my laptop closed, but it uh, is definitely going to be a mess. Bubble. I like that bubble. See, my bubble stamp, or my bubble stencil and my, and my um, bricks are probably my two most favorite. I want to get one of those great big bubbles in there, just because I can. There we go. Just because I can. And I actually think I want that ink blot. This is one of Lee Moore Weber's stamps, another amazing artist. I absolutely love her stuff as well. Good friend, an amazing artist. Starting to come out with some of her own line as well. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I really like that. Where's my butterfly stencil again? And what I'm thinking I might do in my free play this time around is, I don't know if I can color that in after the fact or not, I have no idea, but if I probably would have had time, I may have even colored some of this texture, or whoops, whipped spackle, my favorite Castell, one of my favorites as well. Um, let's see if this blue will show up. Oh yeah, it sure does, it sure does. I wonder if the pink will show up as well. I may as well get my hands all full of oh, a little bit. That's okay. That works, that works. I don't really have a, I think that's all I'm going to do on that page. We've already got some texture there. Um, I don't really necessarily want to just always do the same on both pages, but I'm going to do some laps on this one. This is another one of Lee Moore's new stamps. It's actually three individual ones. I just did it all into, into one. It's in some of my shelf liners. Speaking of which, actually, I think I need some more geometric designs on there. This is another shelf liner that Karen picked up when she was in the city on one of her little buying sprees. I think I need some white on here. What do I need on here? This is another one of my new stencils. I think I'm just going to do some geometric mishmash. Oh, I know what I wanted to do on this one, except I don't know. Oh, here we are. I want to do the clocks. I love these clocks. Maybe you should have opened up a second lip spackle. I'm thinking, boy, these things are really going to need to be cleaned off. Holy cow, what a mess. What a mess, what a mess. 
upside down. That's awesome. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Come on here. Alrighty, gears, gears. I've got a gear stencil that I've never ever used. I cut it out when Cricut had a free um, cut whatever design you wanted out. So I cut a bunch of stencils. I went and got some plastic from a local um, oh, what do you call it? They do signs and stuff, so they've always got vinyl and plastic. So I went and uh, got some stuff from them and um, and yeah it uh, turned out good. This is one of my homemade stamps out of whatever the heck it's out of foam I guess or whatever. Uh, let's see here what do I want to put on this one. I want to do what stencil haven't I used yet. Not that it really matters but I haven't used my chevron one yet. Oops. These stencils that I'm using right now have just got stuff all over them right now. It is crazy. Crazy. This is a very busy page already, so I don't think I really want to do a whole lot more. I'm loving it, but I think I just need to do a little bit of some white just to help tone it down a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Good enough for that page. Okay, I want to do these lamps again just because I kind of got the lamp thing happening on the other side. Again, not that it matters. I'm probably squishing that. That's funny. I never even thought of that as I'm pressing down on that, hey? It's one of those Dina Wakely. Another person I love, her stamps. I have any texture paste on that one? No, I do not. Ah, here's where I wanted to use the hearts. We'll do that all over again. I know I'm actually taking the time to switch this off, but I actually want a good impression of these hearts. So I don't want to just hang on to them. Yep, yeah, I like that. And I think that is actually all I'm going to do on that page. Uh, let's see. And just a swing in here. It's hilarious. Maybe if I rock back and forth, I'm soothing myself. Hey, you think? Could happen. This is a stencil, too, that uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Not really a much of anything, but I really like it. Again, kind of just that abstract, right? Ooh, two pages left. I think I'm going to throw those bubbles on here. We kind of have some bubble theme happening, so let's just stick with it. Let's, let's stick with what's working, right? Let's put another big one on there. What the heck? What the heck, right? Let's throw some bubble stamp on there so we can do some shading in afterwards. I love to do that. quite well for time because I think this is my last page and what have I got left here? minute and 35 seconds. Look at that. Ta-da! Ah, what do I want on this one? I think I'm just going to do this alphabet stencil. And then I think I'm going to call her good because we're going to be down to a few seconds. And 
I'm not going to have time to go back through anyways. I didn't get any of my, you should see the border stamps I have out here. I had all these border stamps ready to use. I would not have had time. I mean, look at that, right? So that'll have to be during my free play. Done. Just like that. And I think I have probably got, look at that, 47 seconds. So that's it. I'm quite happy with that. I didn't really use any of the colored stamp pads I had out here. Because I don't think they were really working all that well. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back in here and dry some of this off. It doesn't help when you're squishing stamps on top of it, right? Yeah. That was just stamped. Well, hopefully this didn't get too squished so you can't see what it is anymore. Oh, not really. You can't. Oh well. More texture, right? More texture. Same with my chevrons. Just trying to... Oh, there we go. Okay, I can never figure out how to shut that silly phone off. So there we go. And my... Poor gears ended up getting smushed into you. can't even tell what they are. That is too bad. That disappoints me. That does really disappoint me. Maybe I put my texture paste on too thick. Oh well. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. Maybe I can go over some of them during my free play and put them back in. Even my butterflies got squished beyond recognition. Oh, so did my dots. That They won't even be able to tell their dots. Oh well, it looks like I did that a lot. Maybe I should have started, I guess it wouldn't have mattered if I had started from the back or the front. Oh no, it would have mattered. If I had started at the back, I wouldn't have been putting any pressure on the pages underneath. That's what I should have done. Oh well, if I do a round three, I'll know, right? If I do a round three, I will know. This was just stamps. And here's another one of my butterflies that got squished beyond recognition. Hmm, too bad. Too bad, too bad. And what am I? Oh, that's where I tried to do that butterfly stamp. And you can't even see those. Uh... Yeah. So is it cheating if I go back here now? Because I already got it down and fix those. Shauna, is it cheating? Tell me it's not. I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might not. Okay, that's it. We're done. I've got a huge mess to clean up. Yep, I'll be an hour. I better go get a bucket of water because I have got stamps with gunk all over them, all over the place. So, ciao. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, now Karen and I get to swap again for focal points. Really nervous about the focal points. Not going to lie there, but we'll see how it is. Ciao. Have a good evening.